here we go. Back in action tonight. The Choice Inc. Modified Tour every Wednesday night. Your poll center there is Matthew out of the Atlantic Division. The two going to Kelly for Chaos Motorsports. The three of Ballard. They're out of the Mid-South Division. The four going to Billy Van Meter, the owner and operator of Chaos Motorsports. The five of Anthony Monroe, the owner and operator of Broken Axle Motorsports. Cole Howard in the six tonight for the Choice Inc. Esports guys. The seven of Rafe also out there tonight for Broken Axle Motorsports. The eight of Justin Smolden and the Open Wheel Mafia Choice Inc. Esports Machine. The nine of Jesse Gordon out of California. The ten going to Joshua over there for Chaos Motorsports tonight. The 11 going to Paul Franchi out of New England. And the 12th spot here tonight will go to Robert Ballard Jr. over there, Unknown Paints and Broken Axle Motorsports. Take a look at the race info here tonight. We're at five flags, 73 degrees, 15% humidity, partly cloudy, three mile an hour winds. And big thanks again to Choice Inc. for being the title sponsor. Be sure to check them out at www.choicingdt.com. All right. Well, there you have that. We're at five flags ready to go. We get the gaps here up on the screen. See if we can get the ticker to maybe cooperate with us tonight. It looks like it may here early. Matthew out front. He will be the control car. All right, Matthew, it's on you. When the pace car goes off, you can choose to go whenever you want. As soon as that pace car makes its way to the left, you can go whenever you want. All right, guys, good luck. Let's get it going here. Let's have a good race. All right, Matthew on the pole there tonight, the 519 machine. Picked up a big heat race win there in heat number one. Rick Kelly on the outside of him, your heat race two winner. As these guys are working their way around here tonight, big thanks again to everybody watching us out there on the Twitch and on the YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Matthew's ready to go here. Great start there tonight. We're off and racing at five flags in the Choice Sink Modified Tour. Everybody down into turn number one here as we see him right now. Rick Kelly off to another great start here early as he looks to go to the bottom right now. Cole Howard right there in the number three spot as he gets tangled up there a little bit. Three and four wide in the back right now. Everybody's jockeying for a position. We're three laps in. It looks like the last lap of the Daytona 500 up front. Anthony Monroe getting the 83 rolling here. The 82, excuse me. Right there, here comes the 203 freight training your leader. Matthew now falling himself back to the number six spot. Rick Kelly, your sole leader here right now. Everybody else side by side trying to get themselves in somewhere comfy here. 75 laps here tonight, 30% fuel for your drivers. Anthony Monroe and Cole Howard and Bailey right now all trying to jock their way up to the top three. Anthony Monroe now got the Voodoo Graphics capsule of time, LLC.com to the number two spot. Back there in the back, Cole Howard trying to put the pressure on Ballard there. Justin Smolden and Rafe in there also. Tight enough to field, five and 75 in the books here tonight. Let's get him rolling here. Jesse Gordon back there in the number seven spot as he tries to work his way up to the field here. Picked up an EOL in the heat race. He's gonna have a lot of work to do here tonight as he tries to work his way back up to the front. Cole Howard now to the bottom side of Bailey. Bailey going to give him the room down low. Rick going to find himself still being the leader. Cole Howard lighting it in there for P number three. Bailey falling back there slowly and slower right now. He needs to get back down there in that bottom line. Pick up some space. Rafe in the 18 also trying to find his way up and underneath the number nine machine as they're racing hard in the back for eight, nine, and ten. Back up to the front. Rick Kelly, your sole leader in the Chaos Motorsports 32. Anthony Monroe with that number two spot right behind him in the Voodoo. Graphics, Chaos, all the boys there trying to chase him down here tonight. Cole Howard in the three right now. Justin Smolden in the four. He's your big mover right now. The 203 himself. Caution out on the speedway. Yellow flag out. Looks like it's going to be on the blinker back here. He's upside down. We got one rolled around. We take a look at what happened in the back here. Oh, boy. Let's take another look here and bring it back. <coughs> oh, man. <clears throat> that one's going to be on. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me there. That one's going to be on Matthew. Got up into the wall there. Uh, lost lots of speed there. Nowhere for the guy to go behind him, but, you know, right up his back there. So uh, first one of the night on Matthew.
All right, moving to the tail end of the field. Boom, tough break there, man. Oh, my lord. All right, so we'll see how cautions are going to work out here. Who's going to come in? Who's going to pit? Looks like Rick Kelly's going to stay out. Looks like Ray, Van Meter, Paul, and Joshua all going to come in and grab some service here. Rick Kelly going to go ahead and stay out. He's your leader. Anthony Monroe there in that number two spot. Cole Howard in the three. Smolden in the four. In the five of Bailey Boward. Jesse Gordon moving his way up. He's already up to the number six spot. As he tries to be careful working his way up through the field here tonight. He's already got an EOL in that heat race. He one more puts him on the trailer. So he'll try to be careful. Big thanks again to everybody watching us out there on the Twitch, man. Thank you guys. Got 16 of you watching right now. Thank you guys so much. Big thanks again to Choice Inc. Being on board here for another great season of Tour Mod Racing. Robert Ballard Jr. there in that number seven spot. He's up five spots also tonight. So Robert Ballard Jr. in the Unknown Paints Machine. He's getting that 32 rolling. Absolute time on there. All the Hillbilly Flannel Co. and all the great people that make it possible for Robert Ballard Jr. there. He's moving it, boys. He's now up to the number seven spot here tonight. All right, lights off the pace car. They're ready to get him back green here. Get him rolling. Rick Kelly, the control car. Anthony Monroe right there above him. 75 laps tonight was what we were going. He still got quite a way to go. Beautiful looking machines there on the front row. Anthony Monroe getting a new paint sponsor there tonight. Coming in with the Voodoo Graphics. Check them out for all your paint needs. Rick Kelly with a great start right there on the inside. If everybody else kind of follows suit, Anthony Monroe and Cole Howard, they do the exact same thing right there side by side through seven, eight, nine. Jesse Gordon moving his way up. Now he is now up to the number five spot. Dingle file back all the way through the rest of the field here. Faster guys in the back here, trying to grab those tires and go. Van Meter looking to go to the inside of the 32. He'll sneak it down there, make it stick. Big guy off the pace right now is Joshua down at the bottom of the track. Trying to find his way home. Nowhere for Van Meter to go. Lap car real slow there. Cole Howard trying to find his way home right now. Anthony Monroe doing something here. Joshua just way off the pace here. He's going to have to get it rolling here. Side by side. Cole Howard with a nice drag race here with Anthony Monroe for second and third. Keep our eyes here on second and third. Anthony Monroe on the inside there on the Voodoo Graphics Capsule with Time Machine and the 52 of Cole Howard and the Jose's Authentic Mexican Restaurant Machine on the high side there. A lot of great speed here. 18 of 75 in the books here tonight in the big race here. Second week of the Choice Inc. Modified Tour season number forever. Big thanks again to all them guys for making it possible. But right now, the good battle. You see Rick Kelly still your leader. And Cole Howard going to go ahead and take second solely here. Anthony Monroe maybe going to save a little bit of tires, fall back to the P3 spot. Justin Smolden in that number four as he's got Jesse Gordon all over the backside of him there. So Jesse Gordon in that black and yellow number 10 Batman. He tries to get the pink cheek standing machine up to the front here. Jesse Gordon trying to work that bottom side of the 203. We got the camera on him. ISO shot right now. Rick Kelly, you see him, your leader. He's got a full second lead. On Cole Howard in the 52, Cole still digging. 21 of the 75 in the books here tonight at five flags. Anthony Monroe looking to get back to the bottom side of Cole here, trying to find that grip line. All back there, he's in the 10th spot right now, and Baylor, Ballard, excuse me, working his way back there in the number 12 spot. Enough break right here for a lot of these guys here tonight. Everybody trying to find their way back up to the front. Jesse Gordon's doing it. He's up five spots right now. He's moved himself to the number four spot. Speed over to talent is happening right now as we got a good side-by-side -side battle right here. The 82 and the 52. Giving each other tons of room. This is what you guys wanted to see, the side-by-side -side battle. Jesse Gordon just trying to play his cards right back here. Cole Howard still on the high side. Anthony Monroe still on the bottom. What talent is going to lose out first here? Cole Howard going to take second. 
Ben Rowe in the three spot right now. 26 of the 75 in the books right now. Jesse Gordon in the number four, Smolden. Now into the number five spot as we got one at the bottom and off the pace. That's gonna be Frenchy. Frenchy trying to find some speed down there in the 37. Not quite there tonight as they keep racing hard here and you got them, got them all over the place here. Not sure what's going on there. Back in the back there, they're trying to find some speed. Rick Kelly, Cole Howard, Anthony Monroe. He's got another bestie one on the side of him here. Jesse Gordon looking to make the hard line pass here on the outside. Anthony Monroe still hanging on to P3 right now, but Gordon's been digging. He's up five spots. He's got some speed here tonight at five flags. 29 of the 75 in the books. We're racing hard. Rick Kelly, still your leader. Cole Howard in the two. Anthony Monroe in the three. Jesse Gordon still digging in the four right now. Smolden back there in the five. And look no further, boys. Billy Van Meter, he's in the six. He's the coming. As he's trying to work his way to the front. Anthony Monroe filling in the gap here. Cole Howard with a big slip up. Going to get these guys to bump up. A little tap there with the nerf bar. Anthony Monroe. Up into the side of the 52. As they're bumping and grinding. There went the cone. To the top, Anthony Monroe now in the second place. The pressure put on here as we watch second, third, fourth, and fifth. What a battle back here. What a blanket on two, three, four, five. And six. Fuck it. Great race up here in the front, man. These guys are killing it. Anthony Monroe in the P2. Cole Howard. In the three right now, Jesse Gordon in the four. Smolden in the five. And here comes Van Meter as he gets to get up here. And Smolden gives him the freebie pass there. Says, go ahead and take it, Van Meter. We'll catch you on the flip side, literally. Anthony Monroe trying to hang on here. As you got lap traffic going to the bottom of the track here for your leaders. Dipping around there. All French right now just trying to keep his car in one piece. And looks like Jesse Gordon's going to look to make the pass here on Cole also. Jesse Gordon down low on the 52. Side by side they go. 35 to 75 in the books. Jesse Gordon moving himself up to the number three spot here. O'Hire slipping back to the four here. Van Meter looking to take aggressive inside line here also. Van Meter going to move himself up to the number four spot if he can hang on. Jesse with a good block move down low trying to keep that momentum off of Van Meter. Rick Kelly just solely running away with this thing. If he saw the battle in the back here, he would understand. Rick Kelly still your leader up there for Chaos Motorsports. And he's leading it by about two seconds while these guys are messing around with each other. But what an incredible battle we have here for second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. These guys are all within just a bumper from each other, racing hard the last 20 laps. Oh, Howard going to the high side of the track. Everybody has to check up a little bit. Monroe slipping out of that pack. Comfortably in the P2 right now, Anthony Monroe. Jesse looking to get up here comfortably in the three. But Cole Howard still making that high line work there. It's sticky. 40 of 75 coming in this time by. Van Meter looking to go to the inside of Cole here. And it looks like he'll make it work. Billy Van Meter there, slide up just a little bit. No contact made. But what a great battle we have there. Rafe back there in the number seven spot. There's Matthew working his way around. There's Robert Ballard Jr. in the Hibberley Flannel Co. Paul and Joshua, and there's Ballard also. But here comes the leaders. Anthony Monroe in the two, Jesse Gordon in the three. Van Meter now made it comfortably into the number four spot. Cole Howard in the five. As we're 41 of the 75 in the books here tonight. One of the best races we've seen here in the Choice Inc. Modified Tour in quite a while. That was a pretty awesome battle to watch there. Second through six. Those guys were nailing it out. Some veteran drivers. A lot of those guys combined time in the league probably 10 years, I would say, combined easily. Oh, Howard going to go ahead and come into pits and get service. Rick Kelly going to go ahead and stay out. Anthony Monroe going to stay out also. He's in the P2 spot. Van Meter working his way around. Dustin Smolden, Rafe, and Matthew, and Robert. Paul French. They said he's off pace by a lot here. Him and Joshua, both of these guys right now, really off the pace. But 
they're trying to just roll it in here. They got some damage done. Rick Kelly, Anthony Monroe, one, two. Jesse Gordon now into the three. Here comes Cole out of the pits. He's got to use that blend line. Got to be careful there. Pit road exit may have been closed. Hopefully he didn't get a unsafe exit there. That would be terrible. As you see Rick Kelly and Jesse Gordon coming down pit road right now, side by side, may I say, as they're working their way down pit road. 46 of the 75, and Anthony Monroe is your new leader in the 82 Voodoo graphics machine. Anthony Monroe, get that machine rolling there in the capsule with timellc.com. He's going to come into pit and Billy, Billy Van Meter now your new leader for Chaos Motorsports in the 23 machine. 47 of the 75 in the books, Justin Smolden in the number two spot. Rafe back there, Monroe coming down the pits here. Robert Ballard Jr. now moving his Hibbley Flannel Co the number four spot he's up eight spots in this one here tonight Jesse Gordon Rick Kelly Cole Howard everybody back out on the track Paul and Matthew and Joshua all tried to find their way there but right now it's Billy Van Meter your leader Rafe there coming into pits he's number two there's Robert Ballard Jr. he was relaxing in the P3 spot here tonight for Hillbilly Flannel Co and man just got himself caught speeding in the pits there 26 laps left to go for Billy Van Meter in the clutch foot he's got. The 23, Rafe still in the two spot as the lap guys will be working their way back around. Billy Van Meter the leader right now. Jesse Gordon in that number two spot. Rick Kelly in the three as the pit cycles are underway here. 25 laps left to go for the guy out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Billy Van Meter and the Edco Welding Chaos Motorsports team. Back out front. Caution out on the speedway. Matthew is out here. It looks like he's got some damage done to that machine. As we are going to take a look here at what happened to Matthew here. Gets up here and... Oh boy, just lost it there. Alright, that's Matthew's second one of the night. Puts him on the trailer. Get him loaded back up. All right, that's on Matthew, second one of the night. Let's get him loaded. Well, that's going to make things interesting here for guys that stayed out and guys that went in and all the different shenanigans that are going to come along with it. Billy Van Meter going to have to come in and pit now. So Jesse Gordon, one lap down. Van Meter lapped everybody. So, whew, man, that's going to get interesting quickly. Caution came out at a really rough time for the guys that went in and pitted. Billy Van Meter still going to be the man out front here. Is Gordon? Everybody trying to get themselves back on the lead lap here. Van Meter going to come in and grab some tires, some service. Second caution of the night. Both of them brought out by the 519 machine of Matthew back there. No big deal. You're going to have the crashes. You're going to have the wrecks, but we'll get them fired back up here. Everybody coming through and cycling down pit road here tonight. Back out there on the rampage. You got some new tires, some new fuel. Ready to go. We got the advanced legends coming up next at Concord. Be a dandy. All right. So they're going to let these guys pace their way through here in just a bit. We'll see how this is going to pan out for a lot of these other guys here. It's Billy Van Meter, Jesse Gordon, and Rick Kelly look to be the only guys on the lead lap. Everybody else is a lap down. Ball with a couple blinks there and be all right. Good to see you out there tonight, Boogie. Good to see you, my man. How we doing? Appreciate you, my man. Billy Van Meter, Jesse Gordon, one, two right now. Rick Kelly up there into three, and everybody else one lap down here after that late cautions. We're trying to fight their way back in here. All right, lights off the pace car. Here we go. Get themselves gridded up here. 
Billy Van Meter. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, Billy Van Meter. I mean, the only three guys on the lead lap, there's two guys on the lead lap, Van Meter and Gordon. That's it. The two guys that need to be up front are Van Meter and Gordon. Everybody else, follow suit and just get in line. All right, Van Meter, Gordon, front row. The rest of you get in line. I'll clear the blacks on the restart. Let's go. There you go. Much better right there. We're going to go green next time. Bye. There we go. Not sure what kind of restart that was, but there you go. I, I, I hate these yellows because they screw up everything. All right. Jesse Gordon back out there. Billy Van Meter. Rick Kelly there in the three. I got to clear their blacks. Yes, I got him, guys. Don't worry. You're good. There you go. Anthony Midrow, Rafe, and Cole Howard all trying to get back out there on the lead lap. 16 laps left to go here. Jesse Gordon, Billy Van Meter, and Rick Kelly trying to work their way back around here right now. Jesse Gordon in the black and yellow number 10. Van Meter trying to chase him down. Rick Kelly to the inside wall, not where he wants to be. He's battling hard with Anthony Monroe. Anthony Monroe back up onto the high side. Oh, Ben gets him a nudge right there. Rick Kelly up into the 82. Rick Kelly in the P3 spot right now. Anthony Monroe back there in the four. Rafe in the five, the six of Cole Howard. Jesse Gordon. Back out front in the black and yellow number 10. Billy Van Meter looking to chase him down. Anthony Monroe, Cole Howard, and Rafe. Everybody jocking up here. Top six on a roll here. Jesse Gordon. 11 laps left to go here. Five flags. Anthony Monroe, Rafe, Smolden, Robert Ballard Jr., and Paul Frenchie working their way up here. Take a look here at the capsule of time, LLC.com gearbox cam. Riding along with Jesse Gordon as he looks back at Van Meter coming. Caution out on the speedway. I think that was on Robert Ballard Jr. We'll take a look here at what happened. We're going to bring up the cam shot here. What's up here. And just loses it. Man, tough break. All right, was on Robert Ballard Jr. So he'll be the guy that's going to take the blame on that one there. All right, uh, we're going to try to get something going here. So, Rick Kelly, you should get lucky, dog. Well, I'm going to give a couple wave rounds here because that whole caution screwed up the guys. So, uh, wave around there. Take your wave around. Uh, Rick, you should automatically get one. Uh, Monroe, I got two of them coming to you. Make sure you take them or you're going to lose them. I'm not going to re-give them out. Um, oh, Howard, I got two of them coming to you. All right. Wave around. Uh, Rafe, I got two of them coming to you also. Make sure you guys take them or you're going to lose them. I'm not giving them back. Stay clear, guys. Smolden, I got two of them coming to you. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Everybody should be good. Get your wave rounds. We're going green when we get back lined up. Yeah, because you were already a lap down when the caution came out. So, yeah, that's why I gave you two.
All right, Jesse Gordon, Van Meter, Rick Kelly, Cole, Rafe. That should have helped everybody. All right, that should have got everybody up to Smolden at least one lap down right there. So everybody should be caught back up on the lead lap all the way back to Smolden. So get in your spots where you need to be. We're going to go green, not this time, but next time. Yeah, I was given two to the guys. Smolden was down three. All right. Yeah. Band meter right there. Anthony Monroe, Rick Cole, and yeah, Rafe. Everybody there should be good right now. What? What's the mess? Just talk to me. I I, I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, well then where were you at? Were you in third? Because it's not having the lap cars fall to the tail. The guys that are not on the lead lap need to go to the back. Rick, go up there. The guys that are in third, fourth, fifth, sixth, get up there. The guys, if the, you guys are a lap down, you know you don't belong up there, so just fall to the tail. I'll clear the blacks. All right, there you go. Perfect. Is that better? Everybody good? All right, here we go. Billy Van Meter, Cole, all the boys, everybody's back up there on the lead lap all the way to six. Here we go. On Jesse Gordon to go green, three laps, shoot out of five flags. Who's bringing it home? Jesse with a good start right there. Van Meter going to be in the number two spot. Clearing the blacks for all the drivers out here. Right now, Van Meter in the two. Rick Kelly digging back there in the number three spot. Anthony Monroe also side by side with two laps left to go. The 32 up into the 82 once again. White flag out this time by. Jesse Gordon, your leader. Van Meter in the two. Rick Kelly in the three. Anthony Monroe back there in the four trying to dig his way up. Cole Howard down on the bottom side there right underneath the 82. Gonna be Jesse Gordon picking up the win. Billy Van Meter, Rick Kelly, and Anthony Monroe, and Cole Howard in the top five. All right, top three. Get them up there. Start finish line. Good work, boys. Man, oh man, that was crazy. Yeah, 100%. That was nuts. All right, there's your race winner right here. Took us a minute to get there. Jesse Gordon, your race winner. Billy Van Meter gonna bring it home in the P2 here tonight, and Rick Kelly. And that number three spot. We'll go over here and do post-race interviews in just a second. What a race. What a freaking race. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with the third place driver out here tonight. Rick Kelly, you got a copy. Yeah, go ahead. Man, that was a crazy ending there. We had, we were running good there at the beginning. Had a couple cautions near the end. Kind of screwed everything up with the, the pit cycling there. But you were able to bring it home P3 here tonight. Break down your race to five flags. Yeah, I think I had a little bit of luck there. Uh, definitely, uh, Anthony was fast on newer tires. I, I think I was one of the few that really only had, uh, I had the same left side tires and uh, it, it was starting to slow down a lot, but I got uh, I got the inside lane, which was lucky and uh, just managed to keep that speed going and uh, came out with P3. Yeah, absolutely. Great work out there again tonight, Rick. And uh, who's the great sponsors you want to thank? Yeah, we're going to thank you for putting it on, as usual, and uh, Choice Inc. for uh, sponsoring, and Chaos Motorsports. Awesome work. There you have it. Rick Kelly, P3, here tonight. Great work. But over now to your second-place driver out in Indianapolis, Indiana, Billy Van Meter. You got a copy? Yeah, I got a copy. Hey, great run out there tonight. Up two spots where you qualified here. Cautions late. Kind of killed the momentum on a lot of guys there, and... Uh, 75 laps, one of the longer races we do in the Tour Mods, and you were able to get up there to P2, man. Break down your race tonight. Yeah, um, for some reason, I couldn't join the race. Like, uh, I missed the start somehow. I'm not clicking the button. But 
that was okay. I made it through the field, and then I tracked her by a lap down, and then uh, we got a caution. Jess got back with me, and then uh, the restart screwed me, and then uh, that was the end of that for me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's kind of how that went there. So great work again tonight. Uh, P2, not bad here. Uh, and who's the great sponsor you want to thank tonight, Van Meter? Van Horn Development, Choice Inc., Edco Welding, KS Motorsports, you can put it on, and uh, Jeff, get run. I don't know if you deserved it, but good job. There you have it. Billy Van Meter in the P2 spot here tonight. But over now to Jesse Gordon. You got a copy. I got you. Man, great race for you and the boys over there tonight. Up eight spots from where you started the race. You had an EOL in the in the heat race, so you knew you couldn't do too much damage here in the actual race. You didn't want to be put on the trailer, and you did a great job driving up through the field up eight spots. Not easy to do sometimes, and uh, you were able to get it done here tonight. Congratulations on the big win, and uh, break down your race here at Five Flags. Yeah, it was a tough battle in through the field, trying not to even touch anybody, and and uh, avoiding the wrecks and, and all that stuff. So I didn't want to have any sort of damage or, you know, get another EOL and be done. So, yeah, I was just driving cautious. But, you know, whenever an opportunity presented itself, I, I take it and uh, just drive cautious. And, yeah, I was able to fight my way back up. And then, uh, yeah, Van Meter pitted early, I think. And then uh, we ran a long green flag run and I had to pit. And everybody went a lot down and, uh, was able to battle back to the lucky dog and, and uh, yeah, then me and the band leader fought it out and uh, yeah, that's, that's how it worked. So yeah, it was a tough, tough race, but good battle between uh, me and him and uh, glad to finish first. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome battle you guys were having there all night long. Great work again here. Jesse Gordon picking up the big win and uh, who's the sponsors you want to thank tonight, Jesse? I thank you, of course, for putting it on the screen, uh, as well as Elder Racers and my sponsors, Pete Chick Tan Swan, Amsoil, Creative Tires, David Trenchy, United Weather Tent, and IE Rhino Lighting. Awesome, Mark. There you have it. Jesse Gordon picking up the big win here tonight in the Choice Inc. Modified Tour at Five Flags. Van Meter into two, and Rick Kelly rounds out your top three. Great work, guys.